morning, what I'd like you to do, the first thing that we're going to do is look very carefully at both of these pictures that I've put on the board. I want you to think carefully about the information that you see in these pictures. And think to yourself for a moment, what might make a really good title for these pictures? Think of a title for each picture. So that if somebody walked into the room and there were pictures everywhere, they'd be able to identify which picture you titled because of your title. So think carefully about the title. When you have an idea, For this picture here, mum and son. Winter Woolies. 
treachery, tunnels of terror. Comes up and you laugh if you think you have an idea. Go like this if you'd like to see a few more examples. Let's do a few more. Flashy, fantastic, rainforest frogs. The Wacky Witch War. The Beak Book. Okay, can one of these authors establish these titles? That is the same. Winter Woolies, Flippity Frog, Busy Buzzy Bees, Some Smug Slug, Amazing Animals, Shiloh Season, Mr. Popper's Penguins, The Measly Middle Ages, Tunnels of Treachery, Tunnels of Terror, The Beak Book, Monster Map, Hungry Harry, The Wacky Witch War, and flashy, fantastic rainforest frogs. Which one has the same letter at the beginning of the word in the title and rhyming? Some smug slug. Who else figured out that that was the one in the set? Good thinking. So sometimes authors combine some of these strategies and put them together. Found another one. Fat frogs on a skinny log. They run. Okay. And because it's almost Thanksgiving, how about this one? A plump and perky turkey. Those fit as well, don't they? So some authors combine 
them, but lots of authors just pick one of those strategies and use them. I want you to think carefully again about the pictures that we have up here. We've looked at two ways that authors have titled books, by making rhyming titles or by using what's called alliteration, where they're using the same letters to start the words in their title. Think back about our two pictures and see if you can come up with a title that uses either rhyming or alliteration to create a new title for our pictures. When you have an idea, put your hand down. House, blue house. And what strategy are you using?
decoration as well. Yes. Black bananas.
what do authors do? What's a pair? What's a dozen? Where's Spot? <laughs> what are these authors doing? They put the title as a question. Good thinking. Did you notice something else? Um, and also the first word in all the books that with the W. Does this one fit then? Let's see. Would this one fit? How much is a million? Um, no. Well, I guess it depends on what we were thinking about for our category. If we're thinking that they're titles that are questions, would this fit? How much is a million? If there were titles with questions that start with W, would it fit? No. But if it was just questions, fit. Very nice. Well, I'd like to thank you very much for having me here and for all your good thinking. And next time you are reading, think about those titles that the authors have chosen, what they might have been doing, and why they might have chosen that way to write their title. And I would encourage you to look and see if you can find some more examples of 